All right, everybody, welcome to this session of Pathways to Energy Efficiency. We will be getting started in just a few moments here as everyone settles in. All right, good afternoon, North Country. Uh, this is Katherine Epstein, CEA for Jefferson and Lewis counties. Um, on with me, I have Nick Hamilton Honey, uh, CEA for uh, St. Lawrence and Franklin counties. Um, and we also have um, Jennifer Perry, who's another CEA for um, our other counties, but she wasn't able to make it today. Um, we'll be seeing her very soon. Um, so previously on Pathways to Energy Efficiency, um, we have discussed a little bit about community energy advisors, who we are um, and what we do. Um, we've also covered the topic of energy efficiency, discussing what energy efficiency is, what it isn't. Um, and we've also heard from a local contractor, uh, Jen Monroe of Adirondack Efficiency, about what an energy audit is, what that process looks like in our homes. Um, so if you haven't been able to catch any of these episodes, you can go back on our history and Facebook videos um, and check them out. Uh, today, we're actually going to be moving into some of the programs that can we can use as New York State residents to get a free energy audit for our homes. Um, so the one we're going to focus on today is the Empower New York program. Um, it, next week, we'll be covering the Assisted Home Performance with Energy Star program. Um, and there's also a, a new number of other NYSERDA programs that we'll be covering over the next couple of weeks, including Solar for All, the Drive Clean Rebate for Electric Cars, New York State Clean Heat, and Renewable Heat. And so we'll, as we move through our topics in this webinar series, we'll be going over each of these in more detail. So what is the Empower New York program? So the Empower New York program is an income eligible program uh, available to all New York State residents, whether you're a homeowner or you're a renter. Um, you can live in an apartment, a mobile home, uh, you, you can have your own uh, home. It doesn't matter, um, but what it is, is it's a free home energy audit for your home. So what we were talking about with Jen Monroe last week, that whole process, there's gonna be a contractor that comes out to your home and performs that process. Um, and then after you get your, your readout of what, what's going on in your home, what it's looking like, um, you can then receive up to 8,000 uh, or more of energy efficient upgrades to your home for free from NYSERDA. Um, as of right now, until December 31st, uh, it's a 10,000 um, limit cap. Um, so it's really good to take advantage of that right now. All right, so how do you know if you can qualify for Empower New York? As I mentioned before, it's an income eligible program. So we'll go over the chart for the income eligibility in a minute. Um, but a few other things is that you must live in a home or building with 100 units or fewer. So like I said before, that can be a rental unit. It, it can be your own home, um, but it just has to be a building with 100 units or less. Um, your household income must be below 60% of the state medium income. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the next couple slides here. Um, but another good way to know that if you qualify is if you receive assistance from programs like HEAP or SNAP, the income eligibility is very similar for the EMPOWER program. So if you qualify for those programs, you will qualify for the EMPOWER program. Um, another good thing to remember is that you must receive your electricity from Gen Central Hudson Con Hudson National Grid, um, the Rochester Gas and Electric, and pay the SBC charge. Um, so for most of us in our North Country region, that's going to be National Grid or NYSEG. Um, 
and we'll go over what, how you can look for that SVC charge on your bill. Um, but another thing is if you heat with oil, propane, or kerosene, you can access this program. Um, and finally, you must be the one paying your utility bill. So if you are a renter and your landlord is covering that utility bill, you won't be able to access the program. But if it is in your name, then you can apply for the program. All right, so let's take a look at the SBC charge. So that's called the systems benefit charge. Um, and what that charge is, is a state mandated charge that's on your included in most of utility bills. Um, and it, what it does is it funds clean energy programs and energy efficiency programs in the state. So you're paying into these programs um, and if you can find that right here. So here's a good example of a national grid bill. Uh, if you look down here, oh, you will have your, your um, electric utility rates, think your, um, and right in that red circle there, you can see the SBC charge and that's by kilowatt hour. Um, so if you have, find that on your bill, then you can participate in this program. You've been paying into the program and you can access these funds. Um, and an example on the right-hand side, there is the nice tag bill with the same SBC charge circled in red. Uh, and finally, this is the income eligibility chart for the Empower program. Now, these are the eligibility guidelines of 2019. They have yet to re release the 2020 um, guides, but this will give you a very good idea. Um, so it goes by, on the left-hand side, your household size. So that's how many are living in the home full-time. And on the right-hand side, you can either check out your um, gross monthly income by uh, either monthly or annual, so your gross income there. Um, and so that's the max you can make in a year to qualify for the program. Okay, and then I will turn this over to Nick and Nick will tell us a little bit about um, the application process for this program. Thank you, but before we get to the application process, for those customers who aren't um, National Grid or NYSEG customers. Um, if you're on a municipal electric, um, and those are multiple communities throughout the North Country, um, we have a list here, and uh, the there might be a few more. Uh, but Lake Placid, Messina, Plattsburgh, Philadelphia, Rouse's Point, Theresa, and uh, Tupper Lake are municipal electric customers. Just because you're not necessarily paying that SBC charge doesn't mean that your um, municipal electric utility um, does not offer free energy audits. Uh, so if you contact us, so Katie, myself, or Jen uh, for the North Country region or your CEA for your region, um, they will be able to tell you uh, whether you should be able to get that free energy audit through your mun municipal electric. And so, next slide, please. What are the energy efficiency upgrades that you get with the Empower New York program? Um, so you, they come out and they do the free uh, contractors, NYSERDA contractors do the free energy audit. Um, there are some upgrades that happen immediately during this audit. So that it might include changing out to LED, the um, energy efficiency light bulbs uh, could be installing, and that's that installing high efficiency lighting. It could be replace, uh, replacing uh, shower heads or water aerators, um, faucet aerators. It could be installing uh, door sweeps and the such. Um, but then after this free home energy audit, there, there could be other um, incentives, uh, other things that can be done in your home uh, to upgrade your energy efficiency, including attic and wall insulation, replacement of old and inefficient refrigerators and freezers, um, and potentially more. And also when you apply for Empower now, um, you automatically qualify and are put into the system for solar for all. And now I just want to be very clear that um, it's, it's available in parts of the state, but not all over the state. Um, so you have to, again, 
um, you want to talk to your CEA. Next slide. And so how do you apply for Empower? You know, we know what the income eligibility is. Um, we know where we can go to see if we are eligible as far as our utility. Now, what do I do? Um, so you can either contact one of us, your community energy advisors, um, and we will assist you through that process. Um, you can also go and download an application from the web. Um, so the NYSERDA Empower website. You can fill out an application request on the web and then NYSERDA will send you a paper application. Um, or you can call the number 1-877-NYSMART, so New York Smart. And so there's another program um, that's called Weatherization Assistance Program or WAP. Um, if you qualify for Empower, you most likely qualify for the WAP. And the WAP is actually a program that is um, provided by the US Department of Energy. And some of the energy efficiency upgrades that Empower cannot do, WAP can do. Uh, WAP can also assist you in making any of the health and safety um, updates or upgrades that is, are found during your audit that Empower cannot. Um, so your CEA, again, will be able to assist you in applying for this program as well. And so, um, you know, if we have any questions, you can start typing those into the, um, the ch not chat. You can type them below as a question in the Facebook feed. Um, but again, who are your community energy advisors? Um, Katie, uh, who started us off, is the community energy advisor for Jefferson and Lewis counties. Um, myself, Nick Hamilton Honey, I am the um, CEA for St. Lawrence and Franklin counties here in the North Country. And then Jim Perry, who is uh, here with us normally, um, but unfortunately not today, covers uh, Clinton, Essex, and Hamilton counties for the Adirondack North Country Association. And so when we're thinking about next week's um, uh, Pathways to Energy Efficiency, we're going to talk about one of the other programs that Katie mentioned at the beginning of this episode, and that is Assisted Home Performance with Energy Star. Um, and then the week after that, we're going to cover uh, small steps that can make a difference, um, DIY energy efficiency projects around your house. Um, and so we're just going to wait for a few moments um, to see if there's any questions that come in. Uh, just remember that you can post questions after the fact to us. You can send us emails um, and asking um, any questions of your CEAs for your counties. Um, and uh, you, know, you can come back and view this and other uh, videos in our Pathways to Energy Efficiency uh, web webinars uh, at any point. They're located on the uh, CCE of Jefferson County Facebook page. They're located on the CCE of St. Lawrence County Facebook page and the ANCO uh, Facebook page. And so it looks like we're not seeing any questions or comments right now. Uh, like Katie and I have said, uh, we are here to help you. So should you have questions in the future, uh, please reach out to us. Um, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Pathways to Energy Efficiency. We look forward to speaking with you next week.